Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do that. I have a camera. And tape all the cute things our little gang does when we leave. Great idea, hon. Now, if I can just remember where I put it. So, where is his spoiled majesty Washington? No, oh, no. When I left, he was having a bad dream. I didn't want to huh? interrupt. I mean, where is he sleeping? One of his stupid secret spots? I can't say. Hmm. Come on. It must be a pretty quiet spot if you can sleep this late. Hmm. I've checked the closet, so I know he's not in the closet. Hmm. You might as well just tell me. Oh, you can have the rest of my breakfast. Hmm? Here. Rig that bad boy in 3.4 seconds. And not a moment too soon. We're going to be late. Have a good day, Furbox. That includes you, Washington. Shake a leg, boy. Just act perfectly normal for the nice camera. Perfectly normal. Goes clear? Mm -hmm. What's up, Earthlings? Hmm. I'm starving. <laughs> Next up, a hamster who paints. If I, I must, must, I, I must. must. Hey, what's your problem? The problem is you. Hey! Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ah. Thanks for attacking Wash. That was nice. What are you talking about? Yeah, show me where he sleeps. No way. I promise. Hey, I know. How about you guys get off of me right now? Oops. Sorry, Washington. What? is going on? You've been caught on tape. <laughs> Naked. What? What's going to happen when the living stones watch the tape and see a fox in their kitchen? We don't. What? Don't be silly. You know, I'm great with electronics. I just have to erase the tape. Come on. Trust me. Must be a new model. Hmm. Come on, delete! Delete, delete, delete! <laughs> okay, great. Let's try something else. Oh, so you didn't show the camera who's the boss of it? Nope, but I've got a new plan. And Vic, you're a big part of it. What kind? I had to touch fur with you beasts once today already. Trust me, you're gonna like this. But first, Sam, go get me my suit. Hmm. 
that looks comfy. Watch set to focus. I'm trying. Cretinous Cretan! Uh, <laughs> okay, Vic, we're good. Dreaded filth taxi! Again, uh, thank you. You're done. OMG! No! Washington, run! <laughs> Well, hello. What nice pets you are. Too nice if you ask me. <laughs> did you guys do something naughty? Did you? I bet you did. Well, why don't we see for ourselves, dear? <laughs> <laughs> what in the... Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, no. How, How did a, a wild, wild fox, fox get, get in, in here? here? But wait. Look. Look. They fought him off. They fought him off. Look at Victoria. <gasps> Our little heroes! But wait, where's Washington? 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 Washington! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Good evening, neighbors! Excuse me, you're probably eating dinner, but a wild fox has our dog! I repeat, a wild fox has our dog! Please help! Get the wild fox! And enjoy your dinner! Thank you! Letting you out of our sight for a second. Not even for a nanosecond. This is a nightmare. I know. Wash is out there all alone. I'm gonna do something. I just meant us sharing a lap. You better tell me where his secret room is. There he is! Huh? I think I saw him! Are you sure? Small with red hair and a ferocious smile? Yes, exactly! <laughs> Uh, oops, wait a minute. My mistake, it was just my son. Get back in here. <laughs> oh no, Sam! Quick, he needs fresh air. <laughs> Not too much, the fox could get in. I'll get you some water, Sammy. <laughs> I think he needs treats, too. Forget about wearing it. Just throw it out the window. And have everyone see Washington's costume just lying on the ground? Oh, yeah. They might wonder where his bones went, huh? Sam, you're good and stuck. Do something, please. You're welcome. Now you have to tell me where this stupid secret spot is. Well, I am grateful for your help. There's only one way I can consider it. Are you kidding? You want me to wear that moldy, crusty, smelly boy dog costume? If you want to see the secret spot. Fine. But that's dealing dirty. Washington! Washington! Oh. 
Washington! Where are you, you stupid beast? Huh? What the? Why are you hiding in this filthy suit, you... Oh, dog food? Wait a minute. Oh. Washington! It's me! Hello, me? Uh, it's me, dummy! Now get me out of this germ blanket! Whoa! It's you! Awesome! I thought it was you that was me! <gasps> Come on! Act scared! Arf, 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 arf. Goodness, we were so worried. Okay, have we got everybody now? <laughs> yes, Animal Control, it's me again, uh, Mr. Livingstone. I'm just calling to say that it seems a fox did not kidnap our dog. That's right, did not. Well, it's all yours. Congrats and stuff. Hmm, it needs work, but I'll take it. Washington's secret hideout is finally mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Blip, blip. Oh, look at that. You holding Vic when she was a little kitten. I was pretty cute. And here's one of you and Vic. Aw, she's having her first piece of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, most of these are just a Vic. We don't have any nice new pictures with all our pets. A family portrait, fantastic. Let's do something simple and cozy. Or we could take a humorous theme photo. A theme photo? Yes, you know, where we all pose like scuba divers or golfers. <laughs> well, that's just the opposite of simple and cozy. Oh, I know, we'll go to the forest and take a wildlife photo, simple and rustic. The woods it is. We'll bring a picnic. Did she say woods? <laughs> Into the woods? Our old neighborhood? What if somebody we know sees us? That could blow our cover. <laughs> We'd never be able to come back. <laughs> You guys are such big babies. It's not like you're gonna have to hunt for food. Mrs. L will bring you treats, relax. It's not that, it's the dirt in your fur. The fleas in your ears. The pine needles in your paws. And the litter box. We need just the right spot for the photo. Something with trees in the background. Oh, right here. This is the spot and the light is perfect. Hurry, everyone! <laughs> Perfectionist! Come on, guys! It's picture time! Okay, the faster we get this over with, the faster we get out of the woods. No pine needles, please! Oh, Vic, you have to at least come out long enough for the family photo! Uh, oh. Come on, Vic, don't be so childish! <laughs> Okay, say cheese! Oh, missed it. One more time, guys. Cheese! Nailed it, gorgeous, yes! Except, there's a bear in the shot! I know. I just have to start... Keys. Uh -huh. Where are the keys? 
Oh no! You left them on the picnic table! <laughs> hey! He's gonna eat my picnic! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Sam! That's not a random bear, that's Mitch, our old neighbor! Ah, yes! I know that food smeared face and bad temper anywhere! What are we gonna do? I've got a plan! <laughs> I knew it! I knew you'd come up with something! For starters, we can't let Mitch see us with our costumes. Too many questions. Eugenie, Susie, you go that way. Distract the elf. Aye, aye, sir! We can't let them see us without our costumes. <laughs> okay, now wait. Well, that's as far as I got. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Eugenie and Susie, there they are. Stay right here, Vic. We'll be right back. Hey, girls! Hey, Mitch! <laughs> Washington, Sam! What are you guys doing here? The whole forest has been looking for you. We, uh, we were snatched. Snatched? Kidnapped by humans. <laughs> And that's where we've been the whole time. That's terrible! We gotta hide you before they try to take you back. No, wait. Uh, Mitch, we... Shh! <gasps> the humans will hear you. Come on! Susie! Eugenie! Where are you guys? Okay, let's head back to base camp. The keys! That's it! Hey, but where are they going? Their suits are still here, but they disappeared. Mitch took them with him. What are we going to do? Take the basket. We can use it as bait. I'll take care of the costumes. Oh, finally. <laughs> huh? hmm. Susie? Eugenie? I'm here. Ah! Hmm? Oh, you guys smell weird. Oh, yeah. They make us wash with this horrible stuff called soap. Hmm? Ew! That's gross! Finally back to the wildlife. Oh, ow! Yeah. My paws already miss fluffy carpet. Fluffy carpet? What's that? <laughs> oh, oh. Two! 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 Uh, hi. You okay? <sighs> Allergies. Too much fresh air. Those dumb humans made you guys soft. You gotta get used to the wildlife again. You probably forgot a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should show us. What's wrong with your eye? Oh, uh, dust. <laughs> Forest dust. Like you said, I'm too soft. Hmm. Well, after all that, I'm hungry. Let's track down some treats like wild animals. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how weak you two are. <laughs> Go ahead. It's the taste of home. <laughs> Tasty. <sighs> the things I do for this family. 
<laughs> you guys forgot how to deal with fleas, huh? Oh, hello, big boy. Now you do me. No, 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 no. It's your turn to deflee me. Yeah, let me make it easy for you. This time, I won't turn around. have to brush up on your scary attack poles if you want to try to fend off pesky humans. Okay? Attack poles! Ah, worse than I thought. I'll show you. It came from over there. Let's go. Yeah, got it. Thanks. <laughs> the keys! Ow! Oh, no! Watch and learn. You'll need this. No! Oh! My second basket of the day! <laughs> Where did Washington and Sam go? <laughs> they went that way? Thanks, weird dog. I owe you. <laughs> That was Washington and Sam! <laughs> Our darling pets! Thank goodness! Wait a minute! They liked those humans! They weren't kidnapped! They ran away! <laughs> Everyone say cheese! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. We're off to the farmer's market, kiddos. No wild parties, okay? Animals throwing a party? Too much! <laughs> too, too much! <laughs> yeah! Yes! An entire costume-free afternoon to do whatever we want! Yes! Like soak in a tub! And raid the fridge! And find our toenails! Huh? Oh. Or the fridge thing! You guys are gonna get so busted. No way! They'll be gone for hours! Huh? Huh? Ah! They're back! Panic! Ah! Don't do this to me, Zipper! Not you! Not you! Can't leave without our favorite podcast! Podcast and it. Huh? Hey! Oh, that was odd. I thought cats always landed on their feet. Hey! Oh. Yeah. Uh Look, hon, he wants to shake. Roll over. Roll over, boy. <laughs> now play dead, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Good puppy. Brilliant. Hooray. <laughs> that was close. Good thing you.
you play a dog so well, Washington. No biggie. Just raw talent mixed with a total commitment to my craft. But whatever. No, really, Washington. You're like the king of domestic pets. The king of domestic pets? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Majestic Domestic. Yeah, the Majestic Domestic. Oh, that's good. I like that. Majestic Domestic? He's acting like a house pet. It's not that hard. It is for me. I can't even land on my feet. You'll get it, big guy. Just keep practicing and someday... You'll be as good as you. Well, I was going to say you'll improve, but many things possible. You'll take it. Oh, hail the Majestic Domestic. Remember, total commitment, Sam. Put your paws out and let it rip. Commit, commit, commit. Hmm, you're still holding back. Maybe if the platform was higher. Yeah, that's it. You're a genius. Me? A genius? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> Brother. Something to say, Vic? Me? No. I mean, you are pretty high on yourself right now, but I'll hold my tongue till you slip up and take a fall. Well, I hope you're ready to wait a while because there's nothing the Majestic Domestic can't handle. We're home, kiddos. And there's someone we'd like you to meet. <laughs> Say hello to Petunia. <laughs> While we were at the market, we saw her in a tragically small cage. <laughs> Chicken. So, until we find her a better home, Petunia will be our guest. <laughs> Chicken! Uh, what is Washington doing? Being friendly. This book we got, How to Take Care of Chickens, says dogs and hens are natural allies. Well, if the book says so, I blindly accept it. And just look at his happy little smile. Good dog! <laughs> woof, woof, arf! Washington, you can't get out now. We're meeting our new guest. Woof! All right, all right, yes. Wow, I guess when you've gotta go, you've gotta go. Perfect, a free range farm where our little chick will be happy. Great, see you soon, bye. Good news, hun, the farmers can pick up Petunia on Saturday. Hello, Washington. How's it going with Petunia the chicken? I thought foxes couldn't resist a nice, fat, juicy chicken. And we're just natural enemies. Huh? Gee, what if you're right? What if I can't control myself? Oh, no! In case you can't tell, I was being sarcastic. And don't forget, I'm the majestic domestic. He's right, Vic. Back in the wild, Wash was always talking about how much she loves chickens. But now look at him. He doesn't even look at Petunia. See? He's really the majestic domestic. Buck, buck. Oh, <laughs> hey there, Petunia. Nice to eat. Ah! I get the next hug. Washington, my slippers. Bad dog. <laughs> Go, Sam. You can do it. <laughs> commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. <laughs> Mayonnaise powder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> how to take care of cats and how to take care of chickens. Let's mix it up a bit. Huh? What's that? Apparently, chickens love sunbeams. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's cats. It says so right here. Never mind then. Blindly accepted. Chicken! 
what are you doing, Wash? Woo, Arf Arf! I'll never make it unless I make the full commitment. Guys, guys, what day is this? It's the day Sam finally lands on his feet. That's what day it is. Yeah, total commitment time. Make it higher, guys. Higher. No, I mean, is today Saturday? <gasps> it's the farmers. Ha <laughs> ha, I made it. It's all going to be fine now. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone. Us farmers are up at 5 a.m. We'll have to come back next week. Let's go. No, don't. You can't. No, no, no. Uh, Washington, something wrong? Wrong? I, 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 I'm in control. Okay, then could you not act like a crazy person for a sec? Sam's about to jump. Thanks. Commit, Sam. Commit. Commit. You know, guys, I'm worried it's still not high enough. No! Get away! Get away! Stop him! <laughs> you can't fight me forever! It's hopeless! Rush, I don't understand. What's gotten into you? Foxes eat chicken, Sam! And I can't stop trying to eat Petunia! <laughs> Where is Petunia? Don't worry, she's safe. I took care of her. <laughs> I know! I'm not a domestication master! I'm a domestication monster! <laughs> I knew it! Yes! Yes! You all heard him admit it. You're my witnesses. Actually, I should have this documented. And do we know any notaries? Never mind. It's just a symbolic thing. But you'll sign it, right? You have to sign it. Hey! Come on, Victoria. Yeah, not nice. But guys, she's right. I'm not what I thought I was. Maybe, but you're still our friend. Thanks. <laughs> Look, the farmers haven't left yet. I told you that you can't substitute orange juice for oil. Okay, okay. Let's find a gas station. Okay, it's my duty to help you, Wash. I'll find a way to restrain them until the elves wake up. Wish me luck. Good luck. For Washington. For Washington. One. I did it! I actually did it! He did it! He did it! Yeah! yeah! How's it going, furry friends? Hello. Sam? Hello. What are you doing out there, buddy? You know this cat? He's really phenomenal. He just landed on my hood from out of nowhere. Oh, yes it is. And by the way, hello. You aren't the free-range farmer, are you? Yes, we are. And by the way, we're here for the chicken you have on your head. Guys, I just want to say thanks for sticking with me. You're welcome, I guess. As long as I don't have to hear the name Majestic Domestic ever again. Don't worry, I learned my lesson. Besides, we all know who the real hero is. The Phenomenal Feline. The Phenom... The Phenomenal Feline! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Life, Sam. No dirt, no bugs, no annoying bear. Back in the forest, my only entertainment was picking ticks off my butt. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone! everyone. Coming up on Bling My Day House, a doghouse with its own home office. Wow, we could do better than that. How'd you like your very own blinged doghouse, Wash? Huh, boy? Doghouse? <laughs> How come dogs get all the cool stuff? What? Dog houses are the worst. Me, I'll take the people house with AC and snacks. Hmm, Wash doesn't seem excited. Not like the dogs on TV. Strange. Hmm. Ha! Oh! Oh, whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Honey, I think Wash wants a doghouse duplex. For him and his best bud, <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Ah! Uh, you heard the dog. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, honey, I married the best pet owner in the whole world. I'm gonna make you your favorite rhubarb pie. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yum! <laughs> oh, Wash, you have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to like that disgusting rhubarb pie. Lucky you're a dog. Huh? <laughs> Come on, boy, aren't you excited? Time to move in yet? Not exactly. Keep it simple, that's my motto. Weird, I feel like I'm being watched. That's what I thought, but it's <laughs> just Vic. I heard something in that tree. Ha! <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but I swear I smelled Mitch the bear. <laughs> I would know the smell of his salmon breath anywhere. Mitch? But he lives in the forest. How would he know where to find us? Don't know. All I know is if it's Mitch, it's not good. He wants something. Ah, uh, it's just Vic. She loves to stare. It's one of her main talents. I don't know. Look at your new homeboys. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Wash? Go on, boy. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get your toys to furnish your pad. Come on, Sam. Here, Wash. Everything looks normal. We'll circle back once more. That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, is that a cave? I got a treat this morning and I saved it for you. It's called a housewarming gift. No, oh, you genie. Can I have just one little bite? Sure, in fact, we should eat that before we go back out there. Just in case. Wash, you heard you, Genie. It's to warm our house. Here's a little something from me. Old newspaper? You can read it and pee on it. It's like two gifts in one. <sighs> Hi, 
I'm sure it's all perfectly safe. Sure it is. <sighs> yep, nothing here. Just my imagination. I can't believe I was acting so crazy. Ah, you guys. <laughs> Mitch, what are you doing here? Hiding from those lights. They think they can get me. <laughs> but I'm smarter than them. Boys, I got a possible robbery in progress. Copy that. No bears here. I repeat, no bear. We're on our way. Well, good for you. But you know, you can't stay here, right? Yep, but neither can you. Living with humans, it's against the laws. Laws? What laws? The laws of nature. Anyway, I thought we were friends. We are friends. Long distance friends. Mm -hmm. We live here and you live way over there. Cool, huh? Not cool. I'm taking you guys home to the woods. We're going to be best next door neighbor friends. <laughs> what are these? Mmm! Whoa! You guys eat those all the time? Yep, after a walk, after a pee. Nope, those are only for special occasions. Very special occasions. This is a special occasion. I came all the way from the forest. So if you don't get me some more, we're leaving right now. No problem, pal. I'll be right back with extra special treats. <laughs> Ah! What are you doing back so soon? Mitch! It's Mitch! He's in the doghouse. He's come to take us back to the woods. What was that? Oh, I hope it wasn't your rhubarb pie exploding, because that would be a tragedy. I'd better investigate. Hey, Washington. What's the matter, boy? <laughs> you don't like the doghouse I poured all my heart and soul into building for you? <laughs> More dog food? Well, okay. Just don't tell the missus. Hmm? Pie's almost done. Yummy. Now I know why you like it here so much. Go get me more. <laughs> more! And bring me one of these, but softer and bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the elves busy. We can't risk them coming out while Mitch is here. here? Um, nothing. Let me see. Mm? <gasps> oh, what are you? Uh, uh. <laughs> so pretty. So soft. Uh. She's a house cat. She, um, doesn't like to be held. Welcome to my house, house cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like the pie's uh, done! Uh, yum, I can taste it already. It just needs to cool a little. Only five more minutes! <laughs> Can't wait! Mm, it smells good! Watch that! Give me that! You want the pie? I can't do that. That's human food. Humans love pie. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I love pie, too! Okay, okay. Pie's on the way. <laughs> hey. hey, get over here! Give me that! Give him the pie, Wash! Come on, Washington. He's getting really mad. <laughs> I want dessert! <laughs> uh, 
Hello? My pie! Where did it go? Oh, no, not the pie! <laughs> Honey, are you okay? <laughs> Give me my pie! <laughs> you want your pie? Go get it! Freeze, fur bag! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about your doghouse, boy. You'll just have to make do with our house. And here's a little something to make it cozier. My famous rhubarb pie. <sighs> Lucky us. Is that you? I smell you, Pie. And now that I love you, I'll be back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. We'll be back tonight, pets! Be good, no fighting. To the backyard. Last one, there's a rotten egg. Why? A rotten egg's always late. Vic, aren't you coming? No, why would I hang with you and do something when I could hang out with me and do nothing? <laughs> what should we play first? Hide and hog seek! Yeah. It's like you read my mind! Or I just wanted to play the same game as you. <laughs> okay, buddy, you hide first. <laughs> You'll never find me! But Sam, we can totally see you. Shh! Ooh. <laughs> where, oh, where could Sam be? Huh. It's like he's vanished. <laughs> You're not very good at this game. There you are. Yeah. Excellent high job, buddy. Yeah. Best friend, Paw Shake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, what are they doing? Oh, that's just their super elaborate best friend, Paw Shake. They've been working on it for months. It's gotten out of hand. Whenever there's something to celebrate, we have to wait while they do this. <laughs> what I believe the hairball hawker means to say is that dogs and cats should not get along, let alone have best friends' paw shakes. You don't know what I mean, dumb dog. Stop putting words in my mouth. What are those nerds up to? <sighs> I should do something about this, but... <sighs> oh, at least we don't do our business in a tiny indoor sandbox. That Pretty high and mighty coming from someone who sniffs butts. <laughs> See? That is the proper exchange for a cat and a dog. Not that. Yeah? <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd think those two weren't really a cat and dog at all, but rather uncultured wild beasts. <gasps> That's the one thing we can agree on, Fuzz Bucket. Something's not right. What? Of course we're a cat yeah. and a dog. This isn't a paw shake, we're fighting. Uh, Sam, we need to talk. I had no idea cats and dogs aren't supposed to get along. Duh, of course they aren't. Any domesticated pet could tell you that. So, that's why you're always so unfriendly to me. 
No, that's just because you're annoying. Right, but if I were a cat... Nope. Don't like other cats either. I like me. What are you guys going to do? You're best friends. But if you act like it, the neighbors might find out that we're not who we say we are. She's right. You two better go out there and show those pets that you can't stand each other. Otherwise, they'll get suspicious. Okay, Sam. It's not going to be easy, but from now on, we are mortal enemies. Why? What did I do? Sam, we're just pretending for the neighbors. Right. I'm going to have some trouble remembering that. It's hard not to look at you and not think, friends. We'll help you out. All right, so here's the plan. The first thing we need to do is remember that we absolutely... Wow, Sam and Wash just can't stand each other these days. What will they do to each other next? Yeah, their fights are getting delicious. I, I mean, vicious. Vicious, huh? This I have to see. Okay, Sam, that's your cue. You can do this, Sam. You've seen Nick do it a hundred times. <laughs> this isn't gross. It doesn't bother me that I can taste everything that I stepped in today. Here I am, a cat doing what a cat does, hoping no dog bothers me. Arf, arf, <coughs> woof, woof. <laughs> Washington, you scared me half to death. Why would you do that? <clears throat> because you're fighting. Yo, Ray, you're my enemy, cat. Yo, oh, yeah, you make me so mad. <sighs> and also hungry. Sam! Bad mostly mad. This isn't a fight. This is barely a quibble. We're losing them. You should be thanking me for the exercise, you lazy furbag! Oh, good one. <laughs> Sam, wait! I'm sorry. I knew it. They are friends. What is going on here? That's the most pathetic cat and dog fight in history. The only part I bought was that Sam's feelings were hurt. That's because they were. Sam, I didn't mean it. We were just putting on a show. It's not real. It felt real to me. Well, that's because I'm a fantastic actor. But we got to get back out there and convince them once and for all that we can't stand each other. Sam, most important, you have to insult him back. We cats are known for our great comebacks. Show me your best mean face, Sam. Foaming at the mouth. Nice touch. Ew, that's just drool. I'm still hungry. That's it. I have an idea. Follow my lead. Ha ha ha! I stole your favorite blanket, and now I'm going to ruin it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Sam, you must be so upset. Yes, I mean, no, I'm so sad I could cry. <laughs> Is he crying or imitating a seal? He's tanking, we got help <laughs> Okay, Sam, don't move. Huh? <laughs> Them. I need a real reaction out of him. Quit crying, cat. Here, have some catnip. You cats love it. You, uh, yes, we cats do love ketchup. Catnip. Yeah, catnip. Uh, I guess there's only one thing to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> Silly cat, that wasn't catnip. It was poison ivy. Uh? Oh. Could you? See? 
cats can never outsmart a dog. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting those two make cats look like idiots. Hey Sam, Psst. Mm -hmm. tell Washington that. <laughs> you may have tricked me, but at least I don't do cheap tricks for treats. What? <laughs> Good one. Score what for cats? Hey, Sam. I may have to do tricks for treats, but at least I don't have to share my treats with fleas. Yeah. I'd rather have fleas than worms. What? I do not have worms. Dogs are worms. Yeah, I mean, dogs are worms. <laughs> what? That's right. Hit him where it hurts. The only worm I know is you, and you're a furry worm at that. Glad I could help. Whoa, whoa. They forgot about us. Yep, that ought to distract them for a while. We can finally give up this stupid act. But I'm just getting the hang of it. <laughs> Not that I like it. You're my best friend no matter what. And you're mine. I only have feelings of awesomeness toward you. What is all this commotion? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those cats and dogs fight. They're like wild animals. Thank goodness you guys aren't like that. You're civilized. See? I say that as long as the elves are convinced, we're free to be besties. Yay! Best friend pushing? No, it'll take too long. Can you guys celebrate a little shorter? I'll settle for a hug. Come on, buddy, let's go inside. Last one there's a monkey's uncle. What's so bad about that? I'd love to have a nephew with an endless supply of bananas. Must I do everything myself? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. That doesn't look like a cat at all. Hmm. You guys, look, look what I just found sitting in the kitchen. I've seen these on the TV box, and this one's brand new. I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyone know what it is? Hmm, easy there. Hello, people. It's a cell phone. This should be good. It goes ring, ring, and you answer it like this. <laughs> Must have been a wrong number. <laughs> there, squeaky clean. Which is more than can be said for Washington. Look at him. <laughs> Someone needs a B A T A. <laughs> oh? uh, booth? We should give the dog a booth? What would he do with a booth? A B A T A. Mm hmm? Ah! Hear that? I'm getting a B-A-T-H! What is it? I have no idea. Well, time for a nap now. A B-A-T-H is, of course, a mechanical belly-scratching device. Um... 
Here she is, the BATH 3000. Get that a good doggy, good doggy. Or maybe it's a designer snack. Yeah. Would Sir like ketchup on his BATH? Actually, I think it's a car. A dog car. <sighs> you mangy fake mutt, BATH spells bath. A bath? With water and soap and medicated conditioner? <laughs> I'll be there with you, Washington. Cats don't get bathed, ding dong. They lick themselves clean. Mm. Mm. Mm, yum, tasty. Sam, don't you get it? If the living stones bathe me, they'll discover I'm a fox and that you're a big fat boar. <laughs> Then it's back to the wild for us. No warmth, no shelter, no cable! <laughs> what are we gonna do? Hey, I'm trying to sleep over here. Kindly take this meeting of the minds outside. TV mm -hmm. time! Yay! This is a nightmare. Do you need to get your meat machine squeaky clean? Yes. yes! Well, then, we're all down to Ed's Mega Wash. Now! We're, we're coming, coming in! in. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, watch Eugenie and Susie. <laughs> yeah, right. My next nap starts uh, now. TV's a better babysitter than me, anyway. Awesome game. Huh? This has to work. I don't want to go back to the forest. Yay! No, you're not squeaky clean yet, mister. <laughs> Hey, no rush. I'm coming, buddy. It's simple. The first one to blink is the loser. Okay, hmm. we got it. Hmm, well played, Victoria. Ha! Close huh? your eyes! Loser, loser, loser! I'm not playing. I'm asleep. Just because you lost, you're pretending to be asleep. Come on, don't be a sore loser. Hmm, okay. Who'd like to go to the movies? That was worse than a hundred booster shots. Sam, I have to stay clean because I could not survive another bath. <laughs> it won't be easy. <laughs> but I know I can do it. <laughs> it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> I can only rely on myself. Like everybody knows, Sam, you're born alone, you die alone. <laughs> Sam, are you gonna eat that in front of me? I'm starving here. I'm trying to stay clean and eating is a dirty, dirty business. Ditch it, Sam. Ditch it for me. Woo! I'm lost. What's happening? The pair of trousers went swimming and got caught in a whirlpool. <gasps> oh, crazy bubble monsters! If you get hungry, call for pizza. <sighs> Nap time. I just show my clean self to the Living Stones and it's bye-bye bath time. 
Dessert. Delicious, delicious dessert. Washington, no. Eating is a dirty, dirty business. I know, I know, but I'm hungry. And I can <clears throat> smell it. Sweet dessert. Have mercy. <clears throat> Curse you, Belly, for leading me astray. No, save you, Washington. Uh. I'm okay. I'm still squeaky clean. to wash Washington. I'll help you on one condition. You guarantee me 12 hours uninterrupted sleep. <laughs> Deal! Sorry, kids, intermission! <laughs> Whoa, these glasses really work. <laughs> Washington! in here, and it smells chickeny. <laughs> Where is that dirty dog? I can't wait. <laughs> uh -huh. I can't find him, honey. Come on, let's stretch this back into shape. <laughs> oh boy, I need somewhere more sanitary to hide. Surprise for you in the bathroom! <gasps> okay, that's enough. <laughs> now, where's Washington? <laughs> Washington! Oh no! He said he was roasting in there! It's okay, I know mouth to mouth. <laughs> uh, Sam, that's a chicken. I wondered where that went. Then where's Washington? Washington? I think she's in the bathroom. Yeah. Washington? He started without us. What a good dog. Let's rinse off those bubbles. It's okay, Washington. This will be over in a minute. You gotta do something quick. Open one. <laughs> Oh, we get them out! <laughs> Hang on a minute. All that foam smells mighty minty. Toothpaste isn't cat food, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Washington rinsed all by himself. He's squeaky clean. This photo's gonna look great in the pet gallery. We'll put it right next to Victoria's first hairball. <sighs> what a nightmare. I have taken my first and last bath. I thought foxes were supposed to be smart. Around here, dogs get a bath once a week. Oh, yeah. What? No! 12 hours uninterrupted rest. Guaranteed. <sighs> Washington, <laughs> it's a call for you! Stay away! <laughs> Take the message, I'm not home! Yes, you are! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. 
but to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's that? Huh? <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Shh! Don't make a peep. A little more to the right. The best ever pet treats. Yep, this is it. Right? Of course not. Could anything that cute be dangerous? <laughs> Aww. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Look at them. They're already friends. Aww. 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 Now you guys all be nice to Baby. Aw, perfect name, honey. After all, he is just, just a, a baby. baby. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're off to work. Play nice. Aww, so, so cute. Hi, guys. Wow, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's, it's, it's a television. It entertains us. Oh, show me. <laughs> show me. <laughs> Funny. What else? Oh, more. Uh -huh. Not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. Keep going. Wrong mm. way. Mm. Help me! No! Oh, I sorry, I mean. Ah, now I'm thirsty. You guys have a lake I can drink? What? what? Ah. Why? What is why? This. What you're doing. We don't drink out of the toilet, dummy. You don't? Well, what do you use it for? <sighs> <sighs> yep, sure do like it here. Don't go in there. It's toxic. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> hey, I love that tune. Uh, uh, help me. Uh, uh. Uh, hey, Mitch, you know, Vic is a real pet, just like you and me. She's not some rag doll, she... Hmm, uh, actually, it's annoying. Ha! Ha ha! 
she doesn't really like to be held against her will, so maybe you could just... <laughs> and that's why we never hang out. <laughs> Get them. Baby's going on a grow spurt. Aww, Aww, so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, baby bear. Our very own baby bear. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bush, you're the bus. <clears throat> hey, Mitch, I've uh, been meaning to tell you about some of the rules around here. Yeah, like no hugging or smothering other animals without permission. It's just, you know, so we can all live in harmony. Together. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of rules. In fact, yuck, it leaves a nicky taste in my mouth after I say it, and together makes me feel cramped. Yeah, but Mitch, we can all... No more all. I want to be the only pet in this house, except, of course, for little Vic. Ooh. Uh, help me. Uh, oh, no! no. You got till sunrise to get lost. Back to the wild, dummies. And if you don't, I'll tear off your costumes and show the humans who you really are. <laughs> Big, dumb, unbearable bear. I don't want to leave. I love walls. No more sleeping in our comfy house. No more delicious treats. Or butt scratches or tummy rubs. Isn't there anything we can do? Do? You heard what he said. He'll tear our costumes off if we don't. Tear our costumes off, he says. Hmm. Wait. Tear costumes off. It's a chance we'll have to take. Hungry. Mm. Oh, I forgot I ate it all. Ah. You gotta get him really worked up. Yo, Mitch! What? Why are you still here? The sun is almost up! We're not scared of you anymore, Mitch. <laughs> if you want us to leave, you're gonna have to make us. And we're not leaving without our friend Vic. No one tells me what to do. And Vicky doesn't want to go to the woods. She wants to stay here with me. Don't you, Vicky? <laughs> See? So I guess I'm gonna have to... Ah! Oh, what are you... Ouch! Oh, you really gonna get it now, you stupid... No! 
Oh, Susie. <laughs> uh, maybe Baby isn't such a baby anymore. They grow up so fast. Hey, Mitch, want a cookie? <laughs> you want some more? Then come and get it. Take you back home to the forest, shall we? Thanks for that. You're welcome. Thank you guys for sticking up for me. You're, You're welcome. welcome. He's out of sight. It's high time he went back to the forest. We're so sorry, you guys. Poor babies. Aww. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is just what I needed. A little chill time in the park. <laughs> I like to chill on the couch, but then I'm a cat. I don't really like the park or other animals, do we, Vic? <sighs> what? <laughs> come on, boy, come on. Let's play fetch. Oh, no, not this game again. I don't get it. What's the point? I know. There's not even treats. Come on, Wash! Let's go, boy! <laughs> as soon as we get back, I'm burying all the furry green balls where no one can find them ever again. Go get it, Wash! Go on, fetch! <laughs> Watch it, Washington! That's my ball! <laughs> hey! Now <laughs> <laughs> the rest! <laughs> 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 I can see you, Washington. I can see all of you. And you're all coming back to the wild with me, where you belong. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> fetch, wash, fetch! <sighs> fetch, wash, fetch, fetch, fetch. <laughs> Good boy, Washington. Good boy. Arf, arf. As always, Alvarez, you are perfection. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Uh, Alvarez is simply the best. Oh, but my Washington can... Alvarez brings that ball back no matter what. Uh, uh, no matter what. You get back here! <sighs> I can't make Mr. L look bad in front of Mr. Snobinsky and Alvarez. I just can't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where are you, you stupid fuzzy ball? Oh, 
Tough stuff, Livingstone. Looks like your dog lost the ball. Not good. Not good. Fetch the ball, Washington. Fetch. <laughs> <laughs> really embarrassed. <laughs> I found your ball wash, and now you have to come get it from me. <laughs> Ooh, it's the pretty little house cat. She has to come too, silly little bull. <laughs> You're fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Come on, Sam! Help mm -hmm. me get that ball back! But I'm a cat! I'm supposed to relax! <laughs> okay! there and try and cheer him up. <laughs> and Vic, you. Ooh, I know what I can do. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw it land over in this area, but I don't see it. Well, maybe it bounced further back. After it landed and rolled up the hill, turned around that corner with the big trees, and fell down a hole where it came out by a river, and went downstream where it was discovered by little green men from outer space. Ha ha, very funny. What is? Uh, never mind. What the huh? Mitch? Come on, we gotta get that ball back. But be careful, we can't let him see us or he'll take us back into the wild. Are you trying to take my ball? Uh, well, technically, that's our ball. No! Yeah. You <laughs> can't have it! It's my ball! Mine! My ball! Mine! Ah! <laughs> 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 Sam, you did it! 
That's because I'm a cat. Phew, I think we lost him. Where are you guys? That's my ball. Mine. Give it back. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Let's go cheer up Mr. L. Surprise! Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ball! <laughs> Fudge! Got it, Molly! Go get it! Aha! Hmm. <clears throat> um, you can keep her. Yeah. We'll take the ball. What? Are you serious? Washington? <laughs> what are you saying? You heard me. I mean, she never wants to play with us, and she never really wants to help us either, so yeah. Bye, Ben. <laughs> Enjoy life in the wild. <laughs> arf, arf, arf! Washington? <laughs> Washington! Good boy, Wash! Good boy! You always bring that ball back. No matter what. <laughs> All the rules. Get ready, boy. Oh! Yeah. I got it! I got it! I got it! <laughs> no! Go away! It's my ball! My ball! <laughs> You weren't really gonna leave me in the woods with Mitch, were you? Of course not. It was all part of my plan. I knew he couldn't resist the ball. I just needed a second to make it happen. Hmm. Oh, and I didn't really mean what I said. Though it's all true, but I didn't mean it. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Not really. No, our first day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry to disturb. We were just admiring your mangy fur. How do you do it? A special shampoo? Or maybe an ugly brush? <laughs> <laughs> I know. All we have to do is order new costumes. Yeah. What? How? On the magic screen with all the little buttons. The elves order stuff on it all the time. You yeah. mean a computer? Yeah, that's what I said. So, who's the expert, huh? Now, all we have to do is order. Error. Please try again. <laughs> error. 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 Thank you, Mr. Ah. Stone. Order complete. Ah. Please await processing. You see? Told you I'm an expert. The computer even knew who I am. <sighs> right. You just got lucky. Your order will be delivered in... Five, four, three, 
This, would you Watch where you... <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'll just go ahead and take care of these. We... we messed up the order. I've never seen anything like this in the forest. They're awesome. <laughs> we do look pretty cool, don't we? You sure this doesn't make me look too fat? Yeah. Hey, what kind of animals are you anyway? The uh, we... Ridiculous! Just think about it. If these were wild animals, we would have known them in the forest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Mr. Computer Expert messed up his order. Ha! I can reorder the right ones in five seconds. No problemo. Hey, oh. We're home. Quick! We gotta put the old costumes back on. Where are they? Vic? You said take care of them, so I took care of them. They're in the trash. What? what? Oh, yeah, that was so much fun, wasn't it? Vic, you gotta get them back! From the dumpster? Vic, please! There's no way I'm going to dirty my fur twice in the same day. If washed... <laughs> <laughs> Where are the others? Don't worry, honey. You know them. They can't be far. You two stay here, okay? Sam and I are going to get our costumes. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> What's gotten into? <gasps> it's the garbage truck. What's going on? It seems like everyone's scared of us. Of us? Do I really look scary in this thing? Scary? Nah, more like ridiculous. <sighs> yeah. Come on. Discover Stash Paste's new product by Criminus Lab. With Stash Paste by Criminus Lab, forget about your old life. The new one will be hairy and fairy. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. I absolutely <laughs> need one. Ooh, a documentary on exotic animals living in far off lands? I'm in. Did you see that? Wash is a lion. Shh, look. These far flung corners of the globe are inhabited by strange animals. This nocturnal mammal who lives in the savannas of Africa. It's me. Never Yikes. How <laughs> ugly is that thing? I can't even look at it. The aardvark returns to its burrow before sunrise and before the lion has uttered his first roars of the day. Wush, I really think it's us everyone's afraid of. Of course not. They're scared of the driver. Me. Thousands of kilometers from the savannah plains, the cobra moth flutters carefree through the jungle. Hey, that's me! This African butterfly is about to commit a fatal error. It is going to brush its large wings against the whiskers of a Bengal tiger. And that's Sam about to attack you! <laughs> Sam, they're gonna arrest him. Like every day, the Babarusas are playing in the mud. Breaking news, brought to you by Stash Pace, a criminous product. We interrupt this program to bring you the highly coincidental news that exotic animals from far off lands have invaded our city. Huh? It's Wash and Sam. The question on everyone's mind at this hour, can these stunning beasts be tamed and turned into household pets? What do the experts have to say? Uh, no. But that means Sam and 
wash might be sent far, far away. <gasps> we gotta do something. Your turn, coward! Hey, over here! Oh! The vet? What's he doing here? Maybe he's gonna stop the truck with that. <laughs> Wash, I don't think he's trying to stop the truck. <laughs> I don't always agree with you, but for once, I think you're right. Quick, we're heading for the botanical garden. Bird on our team. Yeah! That's the unmistakable roar of a tiger. They can't be far. I bet Sam and Washer in there. You stay here. I'll go. Come on, you coward. It's up to you, Vladimir. Guys! Susie! Susie. Quick! Are you nuts? The vet will send us back to the forest. The forest? With those costumes, he's gonna send you to the jungle. <laughs> Not fun for a boy and a fox. Quick, Eugenie's waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> a fox and a wild boar? <laughs> the things you find in botanical gardens these days. Wait a sec, those are wild animals. Shouldn't we return them to the forest? Are you kidding? We're looking for a lion and a tiger. That's a million times more exciting. Are you sure you're okay, Vladimir? It can be pretty dangerous. <laughs> Your costumes aren't in here. We're done for. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sammy, while you guys were in the garden distracting them, I got to the truck and grabbed our disguises. All part of your plan. Right, Washington? Ah. <laughs> hey there, guys. Did, did you see that hangry lion and that vicious tiger? Chill, guys. We scared them away. Huh? <laughs> Do you smell this? It smells like garbage. <laughs> we, we still have bear spots on our costumes. Oh. Rats, we can't order new costumes now. Mr. L's on his computer. <laughs> Hello, it's me, the bearded woman. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Where are the pets? We're going to scare them. What in the world is that? The stash paste. The stash what? The stash oh. paste. Uh -huh. They put it everywhere. On my toys, on the pillows, and even on me. They like it a lot. Come on, let's go. Be generous. Hey, they're in the kitchen. Hello, furry. Oh. Meow. Arf, arf. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Bloop, bloop. Also included in your training kit, this beautiful dog whistle that only dogs can hear. <laughs> Guaranteed. 
to make your dog sit up and pay attention. That's amazing. I need one for my wash. Huh, Wash? What do you think? Psst. Wash, do the tug. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Washington! Another wasted nap. Thank you, Washington. Welcome back to the news, everyone, and for our final story of the evening. Tonight is a very special night for all you stargazers out there. At 9.46 p.m., a special full moon, the one astronomers are calling the Red Fox Moon because of its brilliant red glow. It happens only once every 50 years, and it's going to be a major event. Uh, beware the Were Fox. Enjoy the Red Fox Moon, everyone. Were Fox? What does that even mean? Oh, boy. Let's have a Red Fox Moon party. <laughs> Here comes the moon fire! Here comes the moon food! I'm gonna get some great shots of the moon for my website! The website that only I follow? <laughs> Can you believe it, Wash? We're gonna see a red... How moon tonight! Hope we don't see any were-foxes! <laughs> Werefox? Can someone please explain? Oh, yeah. You've never heard of a werefox? It's like a werewolf, except it's not as cute. Uh. Soon, Washington, you'll turn into an ugly, howling, drooling, biting, scratching, uncontrollable wild beast. Come on, guys. You don't actually <laughs> believe that. There's no such thing as a... Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> what timing. I can't believe my luck. See? It's happening already. And the moon isn't even really red yet. Hope everyone is having a good time tonight waiting for the red moon. Yes! Good. Now, does everyone have their sausages on the grill? Ooh, come on! <gasps> Let's get the sausages. What do yeah. you say? We'll be right back! Sausages! You gonna watch me like that all night? No. Maybe, yes? <sighs> Sam, listen to me. Nothing is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sam. You know me. We grew up together. We're like brothers. <laughs> You're drooling. <laughs> A little bit too salty. <sighs> huh? <laughs> Drooling check. Now, scratchy time. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, party people. We're only a short bit away from the big event. Let's keep spinning those moon tunes. Where foxes are scary. <laughs> <sighs> Sam, enough. I am not going to turn into some wild, scary, biting, and scratching beast. Come on! Seriously, I told you everything is fine. Nothing is going to happen. It's happening! A crazed, itchy, scratching beast! No, 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 no!
no, Sam. Nothing is happening. I was just suddenly itchy. Let the howling begin. Ow! <laughs> Good evening, ma'am. Meow. And cool outfit, by the way. <laughs> you like to bark? You're gonna scream. Washington? <laughs> Looks like someone here is getting in touch with their inner wear fox, huh, boy? <laughs> oh, my friends can't be wrong. We're drawn even closer to the Red Fox Moon Party, people. It's not long now. Oh. Oh. From where we are, the moon is turning more and more red. <laughs> Just look at yourself. You're a crazy, twitching mess. It's happening, Vic. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Vic, you gotta hide me and keep me away from everyone before I turn. Oh, yes. Yes, we have to hide it's you. It's almost that time. Oh boy, I can't wait! Hey, where's Washington? We can't do this without man's best friend. Too late. Come here, buddy. <laughs> ah! Come on! You don't want to miss it. Oops, Take sorry, it away Vic. From the red box moon, everyone. Ten. Nine, sorry again. Eight, seven, <laughs> six, five. Hide your cat. Wait, what? Hide your coming. cat? That means it's Are, 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 
Oh, 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 good boy, Washington. You chased off that werefox, didn't you? And in our final story of the night, we've got some interesting pictures from a red fox moon party last night where a real life werefox was spotted. Check these out. Those are my pictures on TV. <laughs> That's my hubby! <laughs> I don't know. Something tells me that that's a dog in a very good costume. <laughs> Are they saying I'm an idiot? <laughs> <laughs>